Hey guys, it's Jan, Not A Real Farm. So basically, if you take a look at my oil, I've done about um, three freeze dries now. And as you can see, it's really oily and cloudy and needs to be changed. Um, each one of my freeze dries was probably about 38 hours. So it's time to change this and, and get it all, you know, nice and clean and new. Um, so what I've done is I've set this up actually on the top of the counter just for demonstration purposes to show you. Um, I have a container here that I'm going to use just to show you what the oil looks like coming out. So pretty much guys, you just turn the red knob there and what it does is it allows all the used oil to just drain right out into whatever you're filtering in. Like I said, I'm just pouring this into a cup right now so you can see how this works because I already have clean oil uh, in the filter and ready to go. What will happen is the oil level will actually get low in the pump um, when you're cleaning it. So you kind of have to tilt it forward a little bit just to get the last of the oil out. But other than that, this takes about two to three minutes for this to drain out. And then once that's done, you just put in your new oil, close it back up and hook it back up to your machine and you're ready to go. So the oil level is going down, but it's very dirty. After three freeze dries at 38 hours a piece, it's really, really, really dirty. So just gonna take this out. It's cloudy as you can see. It's very cloudy actually. So we're just gonna finish letting that drain and then I'll show you how to put the new oil in. And there you have it. So it's done draining out the oil. I just wanna show you how much oil it actually takes. It takes about that much oil to fill the pump. But as you can see, there's particles in it, um, obviously from the freeze drying and things like that. So it needs to be cleaned out. If you're doing really long freeze dries, I normally clean it every three freeze dries, especially if it's like 38 hours. But um, it's normally every three or four anyway, but it's very, very, very cloudy as you can see. Um, so yep, it was time to change it, but it looks like it takes about a, at least a cup of oil. So you're gonna be taking this off and you're gonna be putting in a funnel so that you can make sure that your oil is actually gonna go in the machine and please do yourself a favor and make sure this button is closed because if it's not, you're gonna pour it in and then basically it's gonna come right back out on the floor. So we're gonna take our new oil and we're gonna pour it into the funnel and then I'll probably end up topping it off with whatever's left in the bottle. So while I was waiting, I wiped out the freeze dryer and basically, you know, filtered the oil that I just used. And now I'm going to put it in and it should top it up completely to where I need it to be. And we can button it up and away we go. There we go. So now you can see that it's topped up to where we need it to be. You can't go above the fill level there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna recap it and hook it back up to the machine and onward and upward. And that's it. So now we're gonna just hook it right back to the machine and I'm gonna start my new batch of food. And that's it guys. If you like the information, a thumbs up would be awesome, or hey, subscribe. And hopefully see you soon. I'm putting in broccoli, I'm putting in tomato paste, I'm putting in ham and pea soup, so this should be good. Thanks so much for joining me, guys.